the popular conception of philosophy, I think, is perhaps best captured by the fact that the first Harry Potter movie that came out in America was entitled Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The actual title of the book and, its and the title of the film in England was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So the, the term philosopher was excised from that title in favor of sorcerer. I take it that this implies that philosophy does not have a, a positive image uh, among Americans, and I think that's right. The popular conception of philosophy, I don't think there is one popular conception, and probably the popular conception is not to have a conception of philosophy at all. There are two popular conceptions of philosophy. One is, here's a bunch of people who are eggheads, who are unintelligible, and who are prepared to tell us what we ought to do, right? A, a derogatory view of uh, philosophy as a worthless academic discipline. Some truth to that. Obviously, another conception of philosophy is linked very closely with religion, and so large numbers of people who um, participate in uh, organized religion would see philosophy through that religious perspective. Uh, philosophy there, I think, would stand for something like the um, values or principles that their religious upbringing leads them to hold. And then there's the popular use of the term philosophy, which just means large thought on. Uh, what's your philosophy on that? All kinds of organizations, from universities to businesses, talk about our philosophy. Right, the philosophy of this company is such and such. And so I think another conception is that philosophy is just a word meaning something like our mission, our basic commitments, something like that. The other view of philosophy is a desperate desire for philosophers to help us understand what life is all about. One kind of giveaway, one sign, I think, is the sorts of books that are um, usually shelved in popular bookstores under philosophy headings. When I go to a Barnes & Noble or one of these other, you know, whatever they are, these uh, larger stores, or even uh, independent stores that I, I occasionally go to because I have fun finding things, I go to their philosophy section, and it's usually philosophy slash religion slash sociology slash new age. I mean, there's some combination. It's never usually just philosophy. Professional philosophers usually cringe at this. There's usually a book on vegetarianism, something about pyramids or crystals, um, some new age stuff, maybe the seven habits of highly supposedly effective people and so on. So I think, I think that there's a kind of pop philosophy idea that's one part sort of new age metaphysics and another part kind of a self-help book. The popular view is it identifies philosophy with a kind of head in the clouds spiritualism. Are you just drifting off into dreamland and in mere philosophy? So that you know you find books on metaphysics which typically mean books on some some form of spirituality. Well, what you find, or what I've found, is usually a few famous philosophers. Book on Plato. John Locke, for some reason, shows up. I don't know, somebody must be telling someone that it has to do with American thought uh, or culture, which is true, but I don't see many people reading it. It's just there. Occasionally Nietzsche, because Nietzsche can be read as a kind of fun text. Uh, and occasionally a Hegel and Marx. Marx will show up there. So you get a set of this sort of roughed out set of, of famous historical philosophers. Very little to almost nothing of contemporary things, unless something is sold tremendously well. And this gives you a pretty quick picture of where philosophy stands in American culture. Uh, one way to read it is that philosophy, as, as uh, a number of folks have said, is the work of old dead white guys from Western culture. Uh, unless you, you see a Confucius text show up, and then you got an old dead uh, Asian fellow who, but the key here is dead. That's stuff they used to do. We don't do it anymore. Right, we're not philosophers anymore. That was something that we're over it. You know, we've gotten beyond it. We've, we've uh, overcome ourselves in this most radical way. The other side of this is that anyone who's you know, saying philosophers did that in the old days, but I, I now need uh, you know, Tony Robbins or something else to make my life go, <laughs> we, we haven't gotten over it. Uh, we just don't do it as well. And then you get off to the Zen of archery and, and all those sorts of things that are there. You know, it's a very good book. It's actually very instrumentally helpful. And I don't, I don't think that it's really bad on Zen. 
Uh, and in fact, I think there's some ways, from my own understanding of the history of uh, Buddhism, that there's some ways it's importantly right. But the key here is that people don't go there to get the history of Zen. People don't go there to get the history of Asian philosophy. They go there to get fixed. Whichever way he turns, conflict, conflict, conflict. So there's a sense in which philosophy in American culture is just another version of all of these routines we have for getting ourselves uh, therapeutically better. Those inner struggles, they shake you. It's reached the point where he's no longer certain how he does feel, or even if he feels. And there's a long tradition in philosophy in which that's the case, from Epictetus and the Stoics forward. There's lots of folks who uh, want to tell you how to, how to do things right. This going to a psychiatrist, is it really the right thing to do? Is boredom worth all this fuss? Can a psychiatrist really help? Uh, so there's this, this old dead guy's thing uh, on the shelf, and then this sort of mystical orientation kind of thing on the shelf. So what is philosophy in American culture? Well, it's not the old dead stuff, dead guy stuff. It's this uh, how do we fix ourselves stuff. And it's how do we fix ourselves stuff without lots of psychologists who are filling us with drugs and so forth. But who tell us stories? That's by and large what the popular conception of philosophy in America seems to me to be.